Hi everyone, welcome to this video entitled Tips and Tricks number 10 Adding Semiconductor Models to QSPICE If you have been using QSPICE you have seen that we have some devices here for MMOS transistors but many devices are missing compared with LTSPICE so in this video we are going to see how to add new semiconductor components very quickly. One way to get the information is to open LTSPICE and transfer the models from LTSPICE into QSPICE. So let's see how to do this. So the process is very simple. We open both programs as we are showing here and then go to LTSPICE, press this button to select the device that we want to use in most transistor for example so now we open the window to pick a new MOSFET and then here we can see we can sort the different components by voltage for example and then we can select the component that we want and LTSPICE is so well done that if we select the component and press Ctrl C automatically we are copying on the clipboard the SPICE description of the component so we only have to go to QSPICE and do Ctrl V so here we have the description of the component we just press yes and here we have our new component and we can do this even for diodes we can select the new diode and select any diode that we want here for example this one so say Ctrl C come to QSPICE Control V, we have the description of the component, say yes, and then we have ready our component in QSPICE. Also for bipolar transistors, NPM for example, we select this one and pick a new transistor, we like this one, so Control C, Control V, and then we have the description, say yes, and we have here this new component. And I have created these two files with MOSFET transistors and diodes in QSPICE for power electronics applications. These are the files. So if you want to save time, you can go to the repository of this channel. This is the link from which you can download these two files. Note that in this file the components have embedded all the information required for simulation. So if we select for example this component and show symbol properties, here we can see the complete description that we have pasted with the component. So we only have to copy the component and paste it on the QSPICE file in which we want to use it. Well, this is the trick of this week. I hope that this information is useful for you. Please let me know if you have any comment or question. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.